Welcome to Capture One in One Minute, where we explore one feature of Capture One to make your workflow better and easier. We're going to wrap up over the course of a few weeks our series on the Export Tool tab. And one thing I'd like to kind of talk about is why is it that we might even use the Export Tool tab? You can export in lots of different ways. You can come up to the top and hit Export, use the drop down menu for some options. You can come up to the top and go to File and then Export and come to the same place. So why would we use the Export Tool tab? Well, there are two good reasons. The first is the ability to perhaps take away a tool that's never going to get used and it's just in your way. For instance, if you never watermarked anything, the ability to actually remove that tool could be useful. The other is the ability to reorganize data. We might want to have things in a different order and uh, next week when we get to export summary, that actually holds really true. But for right now, we're going to talk about export metadata. Now, there's not a lot here, but it can be useful to think through what kind of information you want to have accessible. Specifically, is your image going to be looked at by another creative inside of a larger workflow? If so, you might want to make sure that your keywords are actually attached so we can decide to have all of our keywords and this is powerful if we are exporting an image and then it's going to somebody else in a team or in a creative process who's going to search with keywords uh, and put together some kind of a project. Now, of course, if your image is going out into the world, you don't know who's going to be uh, using it, you may not want to have your particular keywords attached to a process for whatever reason and you can remove those. Next, we take a look at metadata and copyright information, of course, is very powerful, really important to have that attached uh, to give you some form of legal protection. If you have GPS coordinates, uh, having that might be useful, but if you have pictures perhaps of your family, you may not want to have any GPS coordinates attached. Removing that is useful and it is auto-checked on inside of Capture One, meaning that if you have GPS coordinates from your data and you put images out into the world, you could accidentally be putting GPS information about where your family goes and hangs out out into the internet, which may not be a great idea. Now, camera metadata, I think can be useful, especially if your images are going to be looked at by other creatives or if you're submitting them to perhaps photography classes or other things. All other metadata is going to be the things that aren't specifically camera oriented but can be attached. Now, some things that are useful, especially if your image is going to be used in other creative applications by other creatives, rate, rating and color tag, absolutely critical if we are going to be searching by uh, these types of additional data as part of a larger process. And of course, if, you've, if you are overlaying or adding annotations for other people to see, you're gonna to want to add those. So if you add annotations, which can be done uh, at the top right here inside of your cursor tools, you're gonna to want that to actually be added when you send an image out into the world. Annotations are a great way of communicating between teams inside of a larger process. All right, that's what I've got for you today. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.